Let's proceed, you'll be able to notice the Royal Dramatic Theatre, ladies and gentlemen. The Royal Dramatic Theatre is a building that was inaugurated in 1908. That is the building on our right hand side currently here. With the golden reliefs and structures on the exterior. So it has a little bit of art no full architectural style. Currently driving along the outskirts of the commercial part of the inner city of Stockholm, ladies and gentlemen. Close to where we are is a very exclusive shopping district, especially on our right hand side here. So you can get all your formidable and famous brands Hugo Boss, Gucci, Prada, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and much more. I like the adjective you Sorry, was I like the answer. We'll be shopping later. This will be the district for you. But you're heading back to your all heading to the city. Yes, after this. Yeah. So it's only a one stop, one day stop in Stockholm. No problem. We'll make the best of it. National Parliament building is on our right hand side across from the water. Today Sweden is a constitutional monarch with a parliamentary democracy. We have 349 members of parliament and of that which close to 45% of them are lady parliamentarians. So we have a very high percentage of female representation within the National Parliament of Sweden. This is the island of Gamastan, the old town. And on your right hand side, I am proud to present to you the Royal Palace. This is the Royal Palace of Stockholm on our right hand side, ladies and gentlemen. This is the official residence of the Swedish royal family. Stockholm was founded in the year 1252 by the instigation of the country's leader at the time. His name was known as Burger Yao. And it all started on this little island, ladies and gentlemen. So as the population National grew, Museum. the defense tower was built here. On this exact spot, the defense tower was built here. So as the population grew, the defense tower was added on and enlarged bit by bit until it became a large castle, known as the Castle of the Three Crowns that they decided to rebuild a new royal palace and the city's architect claimed that it could be built within six years but he was wrong the royal palace that you viewed previously took 60 years six decades to be completed and it was finally completed by the year 1754. the royal palace is still one of the world's largest and oldest royal palaces still being utilized for its official purposes Currently, until today, it is still the official office of the Swedish king, King Carl the Sixteenth Gustav. <coughs> the name Stockholm derives from the fact. And the Baltic Sea, salt water. 
बाल्टिक सी सोल्ट वाटर पूटिल पूटिल so the name so the name so in the swedish language the word stock means law and the word home means island thus the name stockholm and it has been the official capital of sweden since 1634 so this is the point where the two bodies of water meet the baltic sea and the fresh water parts of lake malmoren ladies and gentlemen we're currently on the largest island known as Södermalm in Swedish translated to English it is known as the southern island ladies and gentlemen this will be the largest of all the 14 islands that comprise of the inner city of Stockholm Which represents that Sweden is in peacetime. So on your next visit, should you not see the flag, you know what to do. Start swimming very quickly. Sweden's last war was in 1814. So Sweden, yeah, this island is well equipped with shops, boutiques, departmental stores, galleries, restaurants. of different cuisines as well and i'm sure you'll be able to notice it especially towards your left and right towards your left you'll be able to notice this signage with the green color can you see system bola gets mm. this is the only place where you can buy strong beer and alcohol in sweden there are several different outlets around the country it is government control 25% vat so Alcohol prices here in Sweden and Scandinavia are very much international prices, ladies and gentlemen. It is much more cheaper in Copenhagen and Denmark, on average. Even if you were to go to a grocery store or a 7-Eleven, Denmark, Kilo, Copenhagen, or whatever. You only need to buy light beer, no hard alcohol. Light beer meaning 2.5 percent or 3.8 percent alcohol. So if you want vodka, whiskey, rum, cognac, you'll have to go to a shop like this. In Helsinki, it's called uh, Alko, A L K O. So in, in Helsinki, it's called Alko. Northern Island, exact. So this is the exact waters. Five minutes. That'll be cool. Please mind your step as you alight. It can be slippery. Thank you. Uh, five minutes. ഇങ്ങോട്ടിറങ്ങുമ്പോഴേ ഈ സ്റ്റെപ്പിൻ്റെ ഉള്ളിലുള്ളിൽ വെച്ചിറങ്ങണം അതിനകത്ത് എടുത്താൽ മതിയോ ആ ഫോട്ടോ എടുത്തോ വീഡിയോ ചെറിയൊരു വീഡിയോ എടുത്തോ